going on, Jerome? It is indeed Giants Week and the Minnesota Fighting Vikings back in the swing of things. Tuesday press conferences with the coordinators and Brian Flores, Vikings D coordinator, bringing hell and fury and just destruction upon many, many offenses around the National Football League. I can't wait. Can't can't wait. Also, hey, no two questions this week. It's fantastic. Also, you know, Brian Flores, a uh, plow, a uh, proud Boston College alum, the Eagles, the only Eagles that we can actually stand, going down to uh, going down to Tall- Tallahassee, just completely putting it on Florida State last night. It's kind of awesome, man. K- kind of fantastic. Uh, and, and Flores, proud proud BC alum, rocking that BC shirt. Love it, man. It's f- fantastic. Uh, but uh, fed the local media jackals had some stuff and some things to say. Uh, a little rundown and recap of what went on. So first off. Uh, Giants, you know, a lot of respect for the weapons that they have. Malik Neighbors, uh, as well as you know, shouted out the the receivers, tight ends, running backs, etc. Uh, they reshuffled the offensive line. Although, I think that I think that offensive line is going to be a yum yum for the Vikings. Uh, but also talked about how he goes way back, like chiropractic with Brian Dayball, uh, the Giants head coach. Uh, they had a lot of crossover uh, with the Patriots, uh, and then like uh, praised Jonathan Grenard's versatility, how uh, he gets along with people, gets along with the defense. Plus. It isn't so much about Grenard just out there you know, looking to put up stats, play his own game. Uh, he is very good about team defense, uh, running twists and stunts, uh, filling various roles. So <clears throat> really excited to see you know, what Grenard is going to do this year. Plus, so Grenard last year with the Texans was teammates with uh, a rookie Alabama edge rusher, uh, and that guy won defensive rookie of the year. Perhaps you've heard. And uh, now he's with another Alabama rookie edge rusher. Maybe our guy will win uh, Defensive Rookie of the Year. Would, would be nice to see. Uh, likes the veteran cornerback room. Uh, shouted out some of the veterans, uh, Gilmore, Shaq, and Murph. It's a nice alkaline trio uh, of veteran leadership on the outside. Uh, also, Dwight McLaughlin. New to McLaughlin. So, Flores is a big nudie fan, and... He this this is I think the second or third press conference where he brought up McLaughlin unprompted, but you know, happy that he made the fifty three as a UDFA. Uh, talked about his ball skills, football mind. He also met, <clears throat> he also mentioned sometimes McLaughlin will try and call out a play that the offense is going to run on the sideline, and it's just like man, keep that to yourself. <laughs> uh, even when it's right around, but we see with McLaughlin. He puts the time in with Durante Jones, uh, the DB coach who was also D coordinator at LSU uh, for a season when McLaughlin was at LSU before transferring to Arkansas. Uh, plus, the you know, McLaughlin is you know, working after practice. He, he's working with Murph. I'm sure that he'll work with Shaq Griffin and uh, and also uh, Stephon Gilmore as well. Uh, where he just wants to, he just wants that knowledge. He wants to soak it up. He's a sponge back there. Uh, got great ball skills, and I think that he is a guy that's going to be a big part of the Vikings defense for many years to come. Also, uh, talk about transitioning from training camp, where it's really a lot of general stuff to uh, dialing down uh, specifically for an opponent on game weeks. Uh, overall, impressed with Sam Darnold. Going up against him in practice every single day, you know, talked about how you could tell between OTAs and camp and preseason, you know, more comfort, more command of the offense, especially in a red zone two minute drill. Uh, so I, I think that Sam Darnold, I think Sam Darnold's gonna be fine uh, this year. Also, a uh, big hype to the young defensive line. So Jalen Redmond, Taki Tamani, as well as Levi Drake Rodriguez, all three making the squad. Uh, Redmond, a uh, bit of a journeyman, the pride of the UFL. Taki Tamani, uh, UDFA, uh, and LDR as a seventh round pick. Now, uh, he, he also talked about how getting them experience is going to be really important and he's comfortable rotating them in there uh, where you do have guys like Tillery and Buller more run, run stopping five techs as well as Harrison Phillips uh, stud in the middle but especially since uh, Flores loves bringing heat and, and sub packages I, I think that you know these three guys are going to get active work on game day especially Levi Drake Rodriguez so I, I like where Flores is going to be at work you know, the Vikings were pretty inefficient last year rushing the passer. And like Redmond and LDR, you know, blowing up a gap again after things. Taki Tamani uh, being in there on running downs, putting them in third and forevers, which, which would be good. Uh, I think that they all can, uh, could and should play roles early on. And like I said, uh, the Vikings D line was a, a major question mark coming in, but I actually feel pretty confident about the D line as of right now. Plus, I uh, gave a shout out to. Uh, MD and Pat Hill, you know, coaching the defensive line. Uh, so lo- love to see that. Uh, Kevin O'Connell, uh, I, we gotta stop asking assistants, uh, 
questions about Kevin O'Connell because all they do is have praise. But Kevin O'Connell is a good leader, helped the team through a lot of adversity this offseason. Uh, also, he's good at reading the room. Uh, Flores noted where you know sometimes uh, the team needs to be pushed, as evidenced by a bit more physical training camp practices. Sometimes the guys uh, need a day off. Sometimes the guys are burnt out, and you know mentally they, they need a day uh, to, to regroup and recover. Uh, and Kevin O'Connell, I think he's very good at reading the room, uh, has not lost the locker room, unlike the previous guy. Mm. Uh, Harrison Smith. So th- there have been talk this offseason, uh, both O'Connell and Flores, about dialing back Harrison Smith's snaps. Played about 1,000 last year, 90-plus uh, percent of the Vikings' defensive snaps. Uh, but him being 35, you know, trying to keep him fresher late in games, fresher late in the season. But you know, Flores talked about it's hard to take him off the field because – He's not happy when Harrison Smith is standing next to him. I don't think it's anything about like Harrison's body odor or anything, but just like, hey, 22 could be out there making a game-changing play, but he said he's standing next to me. And also, uh, Flores revealed that last year uh, he was supposed to be on a pitch count too, but that went out the window. And I think it could be uh, this season as well as you know the the trio of safeties, Harrison, Beasley, and Metellus. I mean, that, that does. Uh, that is the straw that serves a drink on the back end uh, of this defense. And uh, then Diamond Dallas Turner. I think that Flores has a secret plan for Diamond Dallas Turner. So we talked about uh, his role and the vision for 15 early, where basically he's saying that he's going to rotate in, and if he's got the hot hand, he's going to stay out there. Okay. Okay, I, I think that Flores got something up his sleeve. Uh, you know, praise uh, DDT for being athletic, smart, tough, and you know, a lot like McLaughlin, a lot like JJ McCarthy. Uh, he's out there trying to get knowledge. Uh, we, we pointed out like every single day when he was on the sideline, he was standing right next to Mike Pettin, assistant head coach slash edge rusher uh, coach this year, uh, just trying to get more information, more feedback. You know, he's talking with Grenard. He's talking with AVG. He's talking with uh, Christian Derrissaw. Like their training camp battle has been famous so far. So, yeah, I think the Vikings got themselves a fantastic one in DDT. Also, <laughs> yeah, speaking of floors, like, he, he, he said specifically – well, he's talking about the Giants, and that, then he said – uh, yeah, everyone's got a couple plays that they can't wait to run, and then they just got the biggest grins. It's like, you know, you, you know for a fact that Flores can't wait to bring the thunder. That's Boston College. There you go. All right, so I pr- pretty fired up. I can't wait to see what this defense is going to do. I think it's going to surprise a lot of people. I think it's going to bring the shock and awe, awe and I think that it's going to bring pressure and heat from all over the place. So can't wait, man. Can't, can't wait. Uh, but your thoughts are thoughts. A recap of Brian Flores' press conference, uh, Giants Week. Let us know your thoughts. Our thoughts, comment section below. Subscribe for Daily Vikings Takes. Want to support the work? Put a little something in the Venmo. But to next time, Skull Production Value.